Hello guys, Luke Hodge here, and today it's Thursday and it's the beginning of the summer holidays. Yes, man! Um, but I haven't really done any blogging today because, you know, um, I'm starting this blog in, in the afternoon, so good afternoon, people. But today, a, a lot of good things and sh and bad things happen. Let's, first of all, let's start off with the shit things. Um, I don't really mean swearing, but one of these things is not as a big accident, but it still made me very angry about it. Someone has put a dent in my per into my Peugeot. They've put a dent in the wing, but luckily it isn't a big, massive one. So, but it'll buff out very easily. Um, and it hasn't cracked the paint either. That's a plus, but it just needs a little touch-up pen. But that's on a plastic bump, so that's not a big deal. But um, the bad thing is they, well, they have let even know. But I did want to. I was very tempted to say just clear on the truck if you can get a nice proper job on it. But if we did that though, it came to that point, the car's 15 years old, and if anything happened, the insurance, the stupid insurance company, I don't know what the point of having insurance on, on that car anymore, but you need it for on the road, but I'd, I don't know, um, they would probably write it off. Um, meaning, if you don't know written or what written off is, it's no longer on the road and they'll get it scrapped. And Well, not scrapped, but you still own it, but it's not allowed on the road, blah, blah, reasons. Um, so, I don't, and for another start as well, I don't think you should have insurance if you don't want it. I know it's sort of gone on the road if you have an accident, but I suppose you could just drive off and leave them, like a scavenger thing, but I don't know how that would go for a legal side, but... It is annoying when they do things like that, and that's probably what would happen. So we're not claiming the insurance, and first of all, the car would be so cheap just doing it yourself and anything else. But the person who could scraped the side of their car, they might need it. But anyway, it's a it's a it's a fucking um, Astro driver. So sorry for the very bad language, but it's just really annoys me, especially when it it might not be able to get done. I definitely can't do it now. It's going to have to be when they get back on holiday. So. So with the little paint job, but I hate you people that drive stupid Vox or Astras. Astras, no, Corsas, sorry. Yeah, stupid Vox or Corsas. St you need stupid drivers. If you drive one of those, I recommend changing your car very soon and go to something a little bit better, like a Peugeot or Citroen or Ford. Just don't go for an Astra, though, because you'll be a bad driver if you're in an Astra. Corsa. Any other Astra, you're probably fine. Uh, but anyway, um, as a lot of you guys know, on Sunday I am going caravanning. Um, and uh, I'm uh, the caravan's actually on our drive. I'm going to show you that to you in a moment. But I need to think, fill out some hacks because when having a caravan, most of the times you'll get caravans that have, have really... Has, now, I didn't... Well, let me just explain it off properly than just going straight into it. Now, a lot of you know, most people caravan, because there's no internet, they'll bring a lot of technology with them, like phones and stuff. Well, not phones and stuff, but... A lot of you will bring um, caravan, like you would do your health, or you'll bring... You'll probably bring your tablet or your iPad or your, and your phone. Uh, or your iPod, if you have an iPod, but you're mostly... The average people, most of the time or bring your um, phone and iPad and maybe your MP3 player if you go jogging and cycling you don't look like carrying your phone around with you. Uh, or you bring, if it's not that, you'll bring a Bluetooth speaker with you for all need charging. Now, I don't know about your caravan. If you have a touring caravan, you might have more than two sockets. But I'm stuck with stupid, with um, two sockets. Uh, but actually, let me see, I have a sort of third one, but it's not a proper wall socket. It actually is a 12 volt car cigarette lighter uh, plug, uh, but it doesn't actually have a smoker thing in, thing in. it's just a player plug. But you could put a 12 volt telly plugged into, but of course we have a, that'd be more often an average TV that you could get from Coys most of the time. It depends really where you get from. So we got a wall powered one, meaning we only have... Meaning when you have the kettle in place and stuff, you only have about a few sockets. But it's really annoying. But to solve that problem, though, we've had to get um, uh, one of these plug things. Let me show you how. I actually have one connect, connecting my uh, into my free, free port extension cable with a USB port at the end. I need to. I want to power up my PS3 and TV at the same time, and having everything else going. I'm going to show you how those look like. But you might have a good idea. They're like a 
power supply blocks. I'm going to show you that right now because I have some other things I need to show you. Because I'm in selfie mode because I'm using my iPhone, I need to show you in a better definition. Let me show you that to you. These, um, it's like these uh, power bricks um, when you can plug... Um, now, you wouldn't have to plug these in extension cable I have because I just need that stuff. You'd get one of these plugs, you put them in the wall and you can plug about three devices or two. Some of them have different amounts of plugs on, but most of them average to two and three. This is a free one, but you can't... After putting my TV into it, you can't really put another port at the bottom. No, so as soon as it's plugged into you, yes, even when it's plugged into a, uh, an extension cable, if I put probably anything else into the bottom, the in my bedroom might um, catch into flames. So I'm not going to risk it. And first of all, I've had it all going, so I left it for a couple of hours without having plugged into USB port. So I have anything else and it hasn't catch on fire. So I know I left it going for a couple of an hour or two. So I know it's definitely safe. Um, but if I put nothing at the bottom, I don't know how. I think I might be pushing it. But, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, talking about the caravan, uh, there's only two plug sockets on board of mine. And all we have is those um, plug adapter things. And we have two of those with three sockets on those um, bricks. We always get the three plug um, blocks that we put into the one plug socket. So, and in the caravan, we have two. So that means I have a total of one, two, three... Four, five, six sockets, but they're all in a tight condition, and most of the time you won't, we won't, we don't, we don't really have six devices plugged in at the same time. Because and especially for the one of the plugs that we have, that has that adapter in, you can't really have all three things in because of the area, and it's just a, like a little TV, I and mean, you can't really have so many devices around it because there's no space for them. It's really annoying most of the time, and and even so. You're having so much plugs and stuff, it just gets looks like a big mess. And most of the time, even with the um silver outlier thing on the side, you can only knit for the with the TVs, you can only plug in two devices, meaning dropping it down to probably four, let me three, four, five, five sockets. Um, but most of the time, it doesn't really affect that much. But um, I've been figuring a way out of sorting this because, as I've said, I've got that 12 volt plug socket that could come really handy. Um, so I found a solution, and it's get um. Hang on a second. It's getting one of these. Um, this is um this is a few years old. So I've had this for a while, but um, just swap hands. This is a twelve car, twelve volt, two port USB charger. Um, and I thought this would be a good idea. This would be a really good idea because I because I have that twelve volt um car um uh plug um inside um I thought that would be a really good ideal idea um but um and that's really good because that means then I can still charge all my devices because of course this time I don't I'm still deciding on it if I'm going to bring all of my devices because um. I am thinking about taking the Nexus and the iPad, but I'm thinking about just taking the Nexus. Seems that it really is no point, because the reason why I'm taking the Nexus is I've got a YouTube downloader in this, and uh, it's really good, and it actually works. I've checked, and I've downloaded a few videos before I go, but I'm going to add a little bit more before I go. But I've sort of quite a lot on uh, more than 40 videos um, there, so for quite long, so they'll last me, and probably last me for the entire week. Uh, so that's good. But I don't know if to bring my iPad or not, because I can't get a YouTube download for this. Because uh, even when this one's on the appetizer, apparently, appetizer, I've I've looked for quite a lot, and I just can't find one. More like the Android, it's more accessibility. It's got more accessibility to change in personalize and do whatever you want with it than the iPad does. Or what the iOS um, iPad it's running. More like Android, it's more accessibility. Meaning I could find... Uh, there was a few YouTube downloads that I couldn't, that didn't work, but I found one that works and it works really well. Now it had some ads on it. You have every video you download, you have to watch an ad, but they're only about twenty to fifty seconds, twenty seconds to fifteen seconds. So it really isn't that big, big deal. But anyway, even if you do have to watch, and there's no skip, but bear in mind you are getting someone else's YouTube video. So, but and I don't really mind about that. So. Yeah, I suppose it's also what they want to pay the YouTubers but as soon as you downloaded the content. I'm sure it's maybe not right, but um, I, I think you're allowed to download things. Uh, I know movies you can't put full of bloggers, you should be able to, but hey uh, But with these YouTube, uh, but with this um, adapter, I thought this would be a great way. But it seems I'm bringing, if I decide to 
bring the uh, iPad and the tablet. And of course, my main device that I always have on me every holiday is first a phone. This and it'll be the first time I'll be bringing my iPhone on a sit on a two week holiday in the caravan. Because last year, I was um, hanging on with the iPhone iPhone with the Wind Nokia, I'm taking the iPhone for the first time and it should be really good. Luckily it's still got a Wi-Fi hotspot so it shouldn't have a problem if I need to get to the internet because I'm going to try and use it less as possible. So I actually have some data when I get home um, from just burning it all away. Uh, but most of that probably will be gone because I'm not going to be blogging every day. Let me just put that out. I'm not blogging every day when I go away on holiday um, because um, first of all I don't have enough audience to, for um for YouTube to pay out to me, I only get five p and in average, but I can't actually receive that money. Seems it's not high enough, um, because it, it's not enough money for YouTube to pay out that amount. I think yeah, it has to be fifty, fifty, fifteen, fifty quid, uh, to pay out that amount of money, uh, for YouTube to pay out. It's got to be a fifty quid for YouTube to pay out. And seems I'm not going to be receiving that any money until maybe a a, a long time. Um, it's going to be hard to do that. And seems I might not ever get that money back. I'm not going to be uploading because I do want to get a mobile hotspot. But at the moment I just can't because I don't have a big an audience to earn that money back. Um, so it is, I will not be vlogging when I'm away on holiday. except on Saturday and Sundays. So I'm going to be... Staying away, I'm going to be gone away on holiday for two weeks, so you'll have about four blogs from the entire two weeks. I'm out, and that'll be a Saturday and Sunday, and a Saturday and Sunday, and that's the first two weeks of the main holiday from the beginning of Sunday. So, Sunday blog, you'll actually get a one because I have to upload it through this thing. That's yeah, probably just messed up all your speakers now, but there you go. Um, but yeah, that's that. But I'm going to show you um, what I can do with this. I can also, I'm going to show you the damn. The stupid damage that some goddamn f word, f word idiot did to my car, but anyway, let's have a look at the um stuff then. Anyway, catch you in a moment. Before I go to my lovely caravan or my mobile home, um, let's just have a look at the damage on the car. Now, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but it actually sort of can. Here is where the dent is. Now, I can't really see it that well in dark, but it's just the right distant uh, line condition because you can see this is the bit here. It's not my little, but when you go to the dent lock, it's like going all winkly there and over there you can't really it's not like damaged any paint all and the camera's slightly picking it up and um, where it starts to see this is flat isn't it and then when you go to this it all muzzles up that's when it's been dented in uh you can't and now i don't know if the camera but as i can see you can't see the exact damage because the paint hasn't crisped anything but you can definitely feel it and it's slightly big and it's also going around the corner here and going up but the uh, i use some anti-cut um paint cut thing that sort of saves it and hopefully it doesn't come up again. Now this is the plastic bumper, it has took a bit here but I've got a touch up pen if I can do that. But hey oh, the car's alright, it's not bad and you can just get a hammer, take the door on board, yeah there, that's another video to do. So here's the van, a bit dirty. Um, but yeah, let's go in, I've got I've got my own key, because um, it comes with two keys, my nan, my, nan granda, my nan and granda's got one of those and we've got one but I got a spare key cut you can um for the van um i went to the key shop and got one so i can go inside and do whatever we want and of course there are things here because of course we just got it back today so no one's actually been in here to do much like cleaning and stuff so i'm just working my way around here now this is what i'm talking about that all the he all these here these are the only sockets um, in the van, with that one here, and this and this one there. There's only two sockets here, and that's the um, car 12 volt socket that I was talking you about. That one there, if you don't know what that is, that's a TV area yeah, hookup, as all the markings show. <laughs> right here, um, and here, if you just want, that's just control panel for the water pump. So of course, that's why there's taps here for the warning water, heated water, and all the rest blah blah nonsense. Uh, but yeah, what we use um, is these power bricks, you know, with the free sockets, like I already said. They would go in there, slap those in. I like this one better because it has just switches in so you can turn them off separately. Um, but yeah, this one, like I said, when you have the TV out and you can't use this other plug, isn't that much bigger deal? Seems most of the time we don't even use that one. But 
Uh, one of the handiest things I'm going to do though is um, that 12 volt, um, and that's a 6 amps that producer. So you could actually put a power converter in, but USBs, you know who uses an extra pull? You do, most of the time you're just using USBs. So what I could do is I could push this in here. And then I can have some USB ports, and it actually matches very well actually with this socket. But I don't, and it actually flips in. And this is a two port. I can actually can't really get it out now. Um, well, I can, I can, but it's in there. Uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know if I should get a two port because um, anchor doors. Uh, I don't know if I've said it all, but you know, like my anchor battery pack and stuff like that. I love anchor products. They're great. My, there's that. So my USB five port charger I use. It's actually a full charge because one of the ports have broke down but i think that's because i always used to unplug and things i think the pins are loosened up in it but it is a shame but i think that's because i used to unplug from that that middle port all the time practically from my speakers um but there you go. uh you learn something every day and what not to do next time when you get your new charger but that thing will definitely last for a long time but uh for they do a four port usb car charger and i don't know if to get one of those one of those but they might charge along about six amps so that's quite a lot to power through but i think that'll do seems i still have those power bricks here and even if i put the that place you still got quite a lot of plugs here so i don't know i think i might live at that um but um but yeah i'm gonna still think about on that one but yeah this is the caravan so far so um yeah that's handy because that means here i can plug in the usb ports and they actually will be handy because uh this actually has a better much um harder fit um here than because we do have a one port car charger that my mum keeps in her car the volvo um um, and we had that in here now that did slide out Well, this has got such a tight fit this thing's not going to juggle out or anything the one did and this also this one's a two port so yeah i think this would actually work really well in the van and i did put a white one in the assay but the that one didn't really last that one because the um it was used so much um the pins wear out in it so yeah that actually might be still in here let me actually have a just a quick look for curious um things in here uh no it's not in here oh yeah um there's usb hack though so i think i'm going to use that but anyway let me get that back out i actually might leave it in here but i'm going to see if i can get it out first because i think i might still use actually i'll leave it in here so i don't forget but anyway guys i'll catch you guys in a bit when they got back in the house i suppose they're having another dent in the per i suppose if they're just in the dent in the other side of the Peugeot, which just happened just say i suppose it's not that bad seems it can match up with the other dents that have been in the car many many years ago from people slamming their doors into it and someone trying to i'm guessing someone trying to key, key it so yeah hey anyway, it can match with the rest of them but this this side's meant to be the damage side this is meant to be the mint side and someone's just made it the unmint side and also they, they did that look who someone did that but i think that happened before that happened but yeah yeah um moving on let's go inside and end this vlog oh. Whatever. Okay, guys. Well, I've had a little bit, it wasn't really a blog, but I've had a little video type thing today to post out for you guys. As today, as Osa, I've got the caravan over today, that's why it's here. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, I have some stuff to do, and also I need to get this video up. But also, I want to go on my bike and also do some Pokemon Go hunting. Now, uh, let me just, before I end this video, let me just ex quickly explain why I downloaded the app. Uh, first of all, I just want, I've seen uh, a few people in my school download, not like Daniel or anything, uh, and after hearing it, I just want to have a go of it and just have a little laugh. And even still, even when I'm not really a Pokemon fan, it is actually a very exciting, it is quite a fun game, actually. And just walking around and, you know, get collecting pokemons it is some fun when you're a bit bored and you and also it's a good app if you want to get out and about and also i've also been forced to go for a walk tomorrow after having a mcdonald's for some reason um to go walk today so i'm wondering to see if i can collect any pokemons when i go for this walk tomorrow that i didn't really want to go for go for but ayo I, and i wouldn't think i'd be going for a walk it seems of mainly having the car in here i find you might be actually Packing some stuff in seems we're going on Sunday and today it's Thursday. Now we got it to Thursday, but I'd expecting Friday to be clean and then sat and then Saturday sorting all the stuff out and putting it in because Sunday we're leaving. I'm I've 
Now, for the rest of the time, I gotta sort my on really ideally Friday night or sa or Saturday because on Saturday I will be out from the middle of the day because it's Dan's birthday party now. His da now Dan's actual birthday is in the week holiday, but I'm never there because for the first two weeks we always go caravanning or away on holiday in Spain or somewhere blah blah nonsense. Um, so I'm never there for his birthday party, but Sue's decided he's, he's, he can't uh, open any of his presents or anything, sadly, but he's going to have his birthday party early because most of the friends and ours would be going away on holiday than usual, because this is sort of in the two weeks when everyone would go on holiday, really, so it's a bit awkward. So, But yeah, guys, um, I I want to get on my bike and go for it, and also do some Pokemon hunting, so I'm going to end this video here. So yeah, guys... Um, that's it for the day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!